the D-Lo 404 boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Hey, um, real quick, I want to say <laughs> I was very pleased to see Jamel Charlo um, get back to his winning ways. Um, he was he was fighting a guy um, on short notice after um, Tony Harrison had to pull out with an ankle ankle injury, and it was basically a stay busy fight um, because. You know, he wants to be sharp and ready when um, the Harrison fight comes around with the rematch to try to get his title back. And um, you don't want to just throw the event away either. But um, what I want to say is um, I, I was impressed with the way he dispatched the Kato and um, or Coda, however you say his name. But, um, you know, he, he, he showed up. He showed out. He did what he was supposed to do against a guy who didn't belong in the ring with him. And that's what you're supposed to do when a guy doesn't belong in the ring with you. You know, um, that that he was fighting the type of opponent that you can't let linger around. You can't let, um, you know, you, you can't let get confidence. And I will say that in early going, you know, you know his opponent, Kata, Kota, however you say his name, was doing good. He was boxing well. But... And, and and to me, I, I think he won at least one of the first two rounds, if not both. You make give him both of the first two rounds. But I will say that, in my opinion, it looks like Jamal, Jamel was setting him up the whole time. He was basically trying to set him up for for a perfect shot. Not to say that he was intentionally giving away the rounds, but I think he was more concentrating on landing a certain shot to try to get him out of there. Now, can can. And you, in contrast, can you say that maybe that's what the problem was with Harrison in the Harrison fight? Instead of just trying to go in there and outbox Harrison, he was too busy trying to land that shot, that one shot to put Harrison down, and it never came? Maybe so. I don't know. But uh, just looking at this fight as it was, I, I'm impressed. I don't think I don't think Jamel was, even if he couldn't stop this man, I don't think he was going to be in jeopardy of losing a decision. I think... Um, he was going to eventually take over and start to uh, dominate either way. But I like the way the fight ended. He, he done his job. And I hope that there's no other barriers in the way of this Harrison fight. But, you know, Harrison's coming off of an injury. Who knows? Maybe he wants to get a little light touch in before they make the fight. I, I don't know. But um, I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping to get on to it. And um, i like to see how, how these guys match up against each other in the rematch. I honestly, coming off of this fight, this performance for Jamel, I can't really say that it tells me anything about how the Harrison rematch is going to go. These guys just have to get in the ring and on fight. If anything tells me anything about how the, how the rematch will go, it, it will be the first fight. So until shown otherwise, I have to expect these guys to be who they are. And I think in that first fight, they both were who they they, they showed who they are and what type of fighters they, they are. And the result was what it was. It was a close fight. And uh, Harrison, he got the decision. Um, in the second fight, we'll have to see you know, how, how they match up against each other. You know? That's all I'm going to say on it. Hey, I didn't say it earlier, but shout out to Marlowe's Corner and Trey X. Hey, shout out to my subs. D-Lo 404 Boxing. I'm out. Peace.